So, let me tell you about this girl. Disgusting scalp. Disgusting scalp. Try some of this. Now I'm trying it. Good morning, guys. Or good afternoon. It's actually 12.09 right now because I was very lazy today. I'll be honest with you. It's really needed right now. <laughs> what are we doing today? Um, so I want to wash my hair today. It's coming to the week and a half mark here and it's really gunky. So I wanted to try out the TLC happy, happy. A few moments later. I can't talk. <laughs> and the TLC happy scalp scrub and this has AHAs and BHAs. Uh, so this is a uh, scalp scrub and it's by Drunk Elephant, which is very exciting and you can kind of tell by just the very white packaging with a burst of color. So it's really cute. That's what kind of drew me to it. Yeah, um, that's why I was drawn to it. So that's why I picked it up and it also has a cool little nozzle here. And if you didn't watch my last haul video, I kind of explained why I bought this. So I'm gonna go into a little bit more detail about that. So just for starters, like dandruff doesn't bother me. I think dandruff is fairly normal. Like, okay, you have dry scalp here and there, whatever, you can buy some head and shoulders. For me at least, like I feel like I've had this condition that I don't know what it is since I was a kid and it's just like I constantly have a lot of buildup around my crown area and before you tell me oh, oh you have to use this product oh you have to use that product no. I've gone to salons that have suggested me products because I'm using head and shoulders for example and it literally messes up my scalp I can get sores on myself myself I can get sores on my scalp just because of a bad shampoo and it gets really irritated and dry that's also another reason why I don't wash my hair as often as the next person I go a week and a half to two weeks because one my hair is dry if I wash it every other day this already looks dry it's gonna look drier I can't I can't have that man it's already crunchy crispy crunchy like gorgy so why would I do that to myself? I've been on a hair journey, not really paying attention to it, but I've tried so many things and some things work. Not washing my hair more than once a week or how I wash my hair by doing a little bit on the scalp, like the front scalp and then the back scalp and not really carrying it on into my ends and not putting conditioner on my scalp, but only like around here and then down. Like, those things work up to a certain extent. And then I'm left with this gunky, sebum-y, oily scalp that happens even if I wash it a lot or not. And it's very frustrating and it's kind of embarrassing. Like, imagine scratching your hair or your head and then you have like a bunch of gunk underneath your fingernail. It can be painful sometimes because you're trying to get this gunk off and then you scratch too hard and then you have a scratch on your scalp. This is my life. <laughs> like, it's very frustrating and I've been, I've noticed it since I was like probably 11, 12. So that's why I bought this. I want to see what it would like to use an AHA and a BHA on my scalp, especially after I tried the AHA and BHA peeling solution from The Ordinary on my face. So initially my thought process was, okay, so if this can exfoliate my skin, then maybe I should try it on my scalp. I didn't try it on my scalp. But then I found this and that's why I was very curious. So I'm just gonna pull up the ingredients, some of the reviews from the website, this and the rest. So just to like kind of give you a feel for what this product is. Also excuse how I look, I just, I thought it would be easier just to kind of go into it right out of bed. So this basically helps to give you a healthy scalp, 
more vol volume <laughs> more fuller looking hair. And it's basically supposed to stabilize your scalp with the acids. So when you do look at the ingredient lists, uh, the highest acids in here are glycolic acid and lactic acid. You also have a lot of plant oils in here. I guess that's to help moisturize the scalp because you do need a lot of moisture after using something like this. It has antioxidants. Uh, this includes marula plants, um, mongongo, baobab, and I want to say maracuja. Maracuja. I'm sorry if I butchered that at all. And I. Again, that's just probably to restore moisture into your scalp, especially since this is supposed to exfoliate any dead skin, sebum, and then you want to put that back in the scalp with healthy oils. It's supposed to help your scalp feel nourished, flake-free, and balanced. Yeah, your girl needs that for sure. But yeah, so it just goes on to say like what, what it smells like. Apparently it's supposed to have sweet almond extracts, so that's why it has a nutty scent and that's gonna go away after a little bit, rah, rah, rah. The way you use this apparently is that you do it before showering. So you're gonna just probably part your hair and just do this and if you know me I hate parting my hair I hate anything that takes a lot of time but I'm going to do this I will do this so I can achieve a, health, a healthier scalp and you leave it on for 10 minutes 10 to 12 minutes no 10 minutes not over 10 minutes and so you wow I'm butchering this guys I'm so sorry so you apply to your scalp whatever, massage it in, then leave it in for 10 minutes, and then you shower. And apparently this can also be used on the body. I'm not gonna use this on the body. And then a lot of the reviews are fairly good. They're four to five star reviews. If anything that I saw that stood out is that don't be coloring your hair after using this. Uh, wait at least a month, or even if you're using a toner, don't do it. Like, I feel your skin here is a little bit stronger than your scalp because this is covered all the time. So you're probably a lot more sensitive on your scalp and you can't really reach in to get like, let's say sunscreen into your scalp. So be careful with this. This is still a chemical exfoliant. So if you're gonna actually put like dyed chemicals in, in your, on your hair you're not gonna have a good time so I can see that happening and as uh, some people thought it was difficult to massage in but we'll see about that we'll we're gonna try it out for you okay I'm gonna try it out for you but yeah I'm really excited I just I'm tired of having disgusting a disgusting scalp I'm just tired of it like no disgusting scalp 2020 bis what it do like that's that's my goal. Not really, but you know what I mean. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna start brushing my hair. And I know you should start from the bottom. I get it, okay? I get it. I just like the feeling of pulling it back first and then doing it from the bottom, okay? I should probably have more hair ties for this, but see la vie. Okay, I'm gonna, I feel like the smartest idea is to just do this, like, Split it down the middle and then two parts and then ultimate style. <laughs> I don't even know where I should start. Like do I need to do the back? We're gonna start from the side. I can't find my thin comb right now, so we're literally doing it in the little viewfinder here with this big ass brush. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start here. Don't call out my parting skills because I don't, I don't know hair bro. Is there like a, I thought so. Okay, first reaction. So smell first, obviously. <laughs> oh, it does smell like almond. It smells like, what's the almond liqueur? You know what I mean? So that's done. And then, let's see how it looks. ASMR, ooh. 
So it's like a little white or gray. What? And it looks a little chunky to be honest. I'm just gonna do that. Hmm. Oh, weird. Okay, I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna do this, guys. I'm really hoping that it just kind of somehow spreads. And I'm also carrying it to the back as well. Brad Mundo would probably be like, what is this bis doing? Does she even know what the hell she's doing? Relax your forehead, Kayla. No wrinkles, bis. We have nothing. Oh, there we go. It's so hot without the AC. How hot is it where you guys are right now? It's summertime where I'm at. And I live in Toronto and let me tell you, it's hot right now. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just do like the front area first and then somehow I'm going to do the back, like just up where the scalp is, obviously. I think my camera's overheating, so if it shuts off, Season. The breeding ground of the sea bum. Oh, that felt cool. My arms are getting tired. <laughs> I'm gonna put a little bit more. Do people just put this on their their hands and then just let, let's try it? Okay. Oh wow. I'm gonna show you this after. Let's just. Okay, I can see why people find it a little hard to put this on, but I feel like if I have the proper. Pardon me. If I had the proper comb to like separate and doing this in the mirror, it would be like 10 times better. So, uh, but yeah, this is what my hand looks like. I don't know if you can see, but it has like some granules on it. And I guess, yeah, it's just scrub. <sighs> Definitely did not separate my hair properly. No, 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 it's not working. It's not working out. <laughs> hey. Um, I think that's good, and then I'm just gonna do the other side, and then go after I do this side. I'm where did my hair tie go? Like, <laughs> I don't even know. Ooh, I feel tingling. I feel tingling right now. Ooh, and it's on my left side. Ooh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, let's do the other side quick. And we're just, honestly, I'm just gonna use this as a guide the nozzle and just go through my head top because it's taking too long. I don't like things that take too long. You know how people say, Beauty is time and pain, bitch. That's why you ain't beautiful. <laughs> your mama. Just kidding. Don't send your mama after me. Also, 100% recommend doing this in the washroom and not your bed because uh, the little grains granules do kind of flake off you not be messy like me honestly if you don't have a comb use a nozzle and just part it like that and just go through while squeezing because that's probably your best bet to get better distribution and also someone said that even though it was difficult to kind of use and distribute the product it still helped a lot so there's that. I really do like the almond smell. It's really nice. I like it. I love it. See, when I start scratching my head, I, I don't want to stop. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Like, why is the back of my scalp somehow actually saturated? Don't know. I feel like I need more up here. I'm just going in with this. Like, thank goodness this is gonna die because we would not have a good even distribution, now would we? Can use a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit more. I think. Just one more little squirt for the areas in my scalp that actually are the most built up. And then, should I brush it through? I feel like I shouldn't. No, I'm not gonna brush it through, just in case. You could feel it, like, it's not burning, it's like a tiny tingle. Look at how mosh up I made the bottle. The shirt's going in the wash anyways. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's set my timer. I'm gonna do 10 notch. There we go. 
Let's <laughs> give a little wrap wrap. Yeah, it's like my hair dog talks. No, just kidding. What you thinking about stud? Yeah, I don't know what that was. Anyway, it's been 10 minutes. I'm gonna wash this off. And then I'm gonna show you the end result. We rinsed it out and honestly, I don't know what it is. My hair actually feels soft. Usually when I use the verb clarifying shampoo to help with my problem and usually it feels a little bit more drier than this and that's it's supposed to happen but this I think it's from like the oils it helps kind of make it softer if that makes sense like I was washing it out and literally it just how like one of my friends hair feels like you know what I mean like they're like oh I use herbal essences and their hair is just so soft and mine if I use that crap it would just be a frizz ball it felt so nice like it still feels really nice and I used the sea conditioner from verb as well put more moisture in it I didn't use the clarifying shampoo because I just thought it would be redundant and I don't want to dry out my scalp or have any reaction but this, it feels good. I don't know how my scalp feels though. So I'm gonna dry, blow dry my hair uh, for that. Honestly, I don't use salon grade products. Shoot me, leave some suggestions, I don't know. But I'm just gonna use uh, the Tresemme Thermal Care here. And then I'm also going to use this dry oil mist and it's coconut oil brand um i know coconut oil doesn't really absorb properly into hair um i just use a little bit at my ends uh, it just kind of helps the poofiness and the frizziness i actually just recently started blow drying my hair i used to just be a let me just dry it naturally but i find that now that i blow dry it it actually looks a lot better um it's less frizzy and I just feel like I look more like an adult and not a freaking 14 year old who looks like a 30 year old. So I'm going to go do that. I'm also going to just do my little skincare routine and put on a little bit of makeup because I'm going out afterwards. But I will see you then. So I just finished blow drying my hair and it actually feels really soft and very silky which my hair doesn't usually feel like this and I'm very excited about it. I also want to mention that a couple of things about this product too. I know a lot of people don't like to put sulfates on their hair or silicones. Uh, I don't like to either and uh, this is actually free from sulfates, silicones, any essential oils, uh, stripping alcohol and dyes as well so I think that's really good especially when you're trying to exfoliate um, your scalp I don't think you should really be putting fragrances I wouldn't want to put a fragrance on my head after this uh, so it actually is really nice like I feel like wow I actually love this right now my hair is never like this never I'm really pleased with how my hair turned out. But yeah, uh, so I'll just check in with you in a week. It's gonna be in the same video because I don't see a purpose of doing a check-in in a separate video. Alrighty guys, it's been one week since I've used the TLC Happy Scalp Scrub by Junk Elephant with the AHA, BHAs, and plant oils. For starters, my hair, my scalp I should say, feels great. I don't feel as much build up as I normally would after a week's wash. I could definitely go a little bit longer and I definitely will be going a little bit longer for washing my hair. I'll probably do it even next week. This, I think, worked significantly for me. There is a little bit of sebum build up, but I feel like that's just normal. It's not oily or greasy right now either. I just feel like my scalp is balanced, which is what my goal was. So I'm overall really happy about this product. I do have a couple other shampoos to try, or a couple. I have one other shampoo to try, which is the Brio Geo. Bri Brio Geo. I don't know, man. You tell me. There's the charcoal exfoliating shampoo I have by them and that I really want to try. So. 
maybe that will be something that I can use a little bit more regularly because I'm not going to be using something like this every time I wash my hair. I think that this could be very harsh on skin for sure, so I don't want to be using it too much, especially if I'm using it only to wash my hair when I do. It might be something that I use every second or third wash or once a month if I really need that extra deep clean. I feel like this was a really great restart for me personally. My hair is a little bit crazy right now. Other than that, 100% recommend if you have a lot of sebum buildup or a lot of dandruff. Maybe not dandruff. Actually, I take that back. Sebum for sure and a lot of oil buildup. I think this could be the perfect restart for you. But yeah, that's it for this video. I probably won't be trying a lot of hair care stuff on here, so it is what it is. We'll see you soon. Have a great afternoon.